Hello YouTube. I'm back from my long my long um, time without being on YouTube and I'm so so I'm so sorry about that. During that time I've been focusing on photography, schoolwork, and other things because I want to get my photography more out there and things and I just haven't been posting a lot of videos lately so I really want to get back into posting YouTube videos. I originally want to be a filmmaker and I would upload YouTube videos like every week, like two times a week and then I I stopped YouTube for a little while and I got into photography and now I want to get back into filmmaking and photography. I want to do both because they're both the same basically and I really like filmmaking. But over that time I found out that I like film photography and not, well I like digital too but film photography is a really cool medium that you can do and it makes you think about your pictures more and it makes you just look at the shots that you're taking and not just like take picture after picture after picture after picture. So it really makes you think and I like the way film looks too. It looks really cool, better than digital. Cause you don't really have to edit anything to make it look really cool and aesthetic. So on the topic of film photography, I'm going to teach you today how to load a film camera with film, 35 millimeter film. Now if you're not really familiar with film photography, uh, this is a canister of film right here. And the film comes in this, you pop the top off and the can the canister is in here so here it is and you have a little film leader right here and what you do is you put this I'll show you this but you put this in the camera and then you pull this out and it will go to the other end of the camera and then every time you take a picture you turn a you turn a uh, rewind knob and it advances the film so you get a new a uh, piece of film every time. So now I'm going to show you how to load some film into a film camera. This camera I'm going to use is the Topcon Be Bessler. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, and this is a good camera. You know, it's SLR, and which means that it's like you you see what you're going to take the picture of. Like you can see all the depth of field and stuff. You can see everything. So I'm going to show you how to load film right now. So here's what you guys are going to need. You guys are going to need a film camera and you guys are going to need a canister of film. Um, the only reason I'm rushing right now is because I only have two minutes left on this camera because it's about to die. So what you're going to need is a film camera and a canister of film. It doesn't really matter what kind of film you have but all you need is some film. So to open this camera you're going to push this little button this way and push down and then the back's going to come off and as you can see there's two slots for the film. There's the, f the place where you put the film, the canister, and then the place where you put the leader to uh, wind the film. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the canister with the little nub down. You're going to put that down and you're going to lift this up. You're going to lift this up so that you can place the film in there. But Oh, sorry. Make sure the leader is out so you don't get it stuck in there. So you put that in there. You press that down, and then what you're going to do is pull this out and kind of keep it tight. And then you're going to put this film leader in into one of these slots here, as you can see. And then you put it in. Oh, sorry. You put the film leader in and make sure that's catching. And then you wind the film. Oh, sorry, see it didn't catch there, so I gotta redo it. So you put the film leader in, again. And then you wind the film. Oh, take a picture though, if it stops. So wind the film. So you're gonna wind the film. Take a picture, and wind it again, just to make sure it's in there. And then there you go. That's it. Now you're ready to take pictures.